What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's always a huge, huge thanks for coming back. We really appreciate you. So today I've got two projects going on. And the first one is one that I think you guys are really gonna like and really appreciate. Cause it's something that you guys with the O5 Plus axles under your truck uh, have, been, have been asking me for. And uh, let me show you real quick. Well, actually let me tell you what the second project's gonna be, just so you know. Um, I wanna try and work on bringing this paint back to life on the hood and see what we can do to fix it. As you can see, it's super, super faded. Uh, we've got some pretty bad peeling going on over here on both both sides of the hood. So that's gonna be the second project for today. But first, let me show you what the first one is. And like I said, I want some feedback from you guys, see if you guys would be interested in it. Okay, so we are under the truck, and as you can see, I'm trying to install a uh, factory style steering stabilizer on this thing. And it would actually be pretty easy. I'm, I'm working on making this bracket, which bolts to that hole and that hole which are already on your frame, which is super cool. That means that you don't have to drill any holes. On this spot, you've got like a little tab, little nipple thing that sticks out of there um, that you can just hammer uh, right out. And this thing would basically just uh, go on there like that. And like I said, you can run a factory style stabilizer on there. I've got this really nice Bilstein uh, stabilizer. And I think it'd be a great compliment to just kind of like a stock to about four inches of lift 35 setup like i have i'm thinking about including it in the kit um but like i said like again like i said i need your feedback because if you guys don't like the idea then i just won't include it but anyways i'm gonna go ahead try and get this bracket a little bit more finalized make sure that all my measurements are good and then tack the tabs that'll hold on to the actual uh, stabilizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and then I'll show you kind of like the more finished prototype. Okay guys, so here we go. Um, again, this is not fully finished. Obviously we still need this other tab, but it actually works pretty good. It has travel in uh, both directions, plenty of travel. And I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. So I think it's looking pretty good. So I think what, I think what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take this bracket off get all the measurements that I actually need and make the proper bracket so that we can finish this product. And I'll be able to test this thing for a few weeks and make sure that everything was properly. And I also went ahead and threw a zip tie on this uh, hose right here just to give it plenty of space. Um, but yeah, everything else looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay guys, so we finished the uh, steering stabilizer and let me show you how it turned out. I was pretty close to the part that I showed you originally, um, but anyways, let me show you. Okay, so this is kind of the uh, little bracket that I ended up making for it. And like I said, it looks pretty similar to the, um, the one that I showed you earlier, but it functions really, really well. Um, the actual stabilizer has plenty of travel both ways to where it has, um, it's not maxing out in either direction, so that's pretty good. Um, and I'm actually pretty shocked at how well, uh, how big of a difference actually it makes in the uh, in the steering. I've been uh, I've been driving this thing now for uh, about a week, and I actually really can't feel a difference with this thing on compared to, uh, to without it. Um, and oh, before I forget, I'm gonna do a few changes to this thing um, before I'm finished with it. I'm actually gonna tie, make these two little tabs uh one single piece that will be tied here at the center so that'll kind of box this in a little bit more make it stronger um but other than that everything is really really good um i'll show you a, a video of this thing in action so you can see it go from lock to lock um but yeah i'll call this a finished project for now and i'm just gonna do uh more testing on my truck hopefully we'll include them in the kits uh here pretty soon and we'll have them individually on the website as well um so yeah pretty cool pretty excited about that product and i guess before i forget to say it, it 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 definitely makes a difference on the steering wheel feel down the road um you don't feel as much i guess shaking on the steering wheel it's just a lot solid uh, i definitely think that it made a difference and it's worth it um especially considering the fact that you don't have to drill any holes or anything like that it's pretty much a bolt-in deal and once i have the uh, finished product i'll make a, another small little build uh video showing you the actual install process of it because it is slight, not complicated, it's just a little frustrating uh, having to get the bolts in there. So like I said, once I have the actual product, I'll make an actual video, install video of it and show you step by step on how to install it. But now that we're done with that, we're gonna move on to this hood. Um, as you can see, it is super, super dull. Like there is zero reflection on this thing. And then we've got a whole bunch of peeling over here. So I'm gonna try and see what we can do to uh, bring this thing back. And the main reason why I'm doing this is because we're gonna be changing the color of this thing pretty soon and uh, we can't have any of this. So 
basically the main thing I want to do is get rid of this, blend it in really nice and well, and just see what you can do with old faded dull paint like this. Now, I don't know a thing about detailing and buffing paint and all that stuff. Uh, it's something that I don't usually do. Welding, fabricating, delining, that's my thing. Detailing, definitely not my thing. Most of my cars are always pretty dirty. Uh, so I follow a channel here on YouTube. Um, I believe it's Summit Life. And uh, those, uh, it's a couple. And they are detailers. It's super cool. They're really good at their job. And if you like detailing, if you like supercars, and if you like OBSs, uh, definitely go follow, uh, give them a follow. Um, anyways, I'm going to follow a video that he did detailing his OBS. Um, and hopefully it works on my truck. So um, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is uh, get rid of all this flaking paint. And the best way that I can think about doing that is sanding it off. And I've got a few different uh, grids. I've got 320, uh, 400, and 1,000. Now... I don't know if that's some very big jumps, small jumps. I, like I said, I don't know much about this, but I just know that you want to go ahead and step up to the finer grids. Uh, the first two we're going to do just dry sanding. The last one, we're going to do some wet sanding. And I believe I have, I have a uh, 3000. So in case, in case I need that, I'll have it too. Okay, guys. So I did my first pass with the, uh, what was it? 320, I believe. Grit. Uh, sandpaper. And basically what I was trying to accomplish... And I gotta remember, I'm not a professional. I'm just doing this by feel. Uh, was to get all of those peeling pieces off and kind of blend the, the higher paint to this lower paint. So as you can see, we've got pretty much all of those little pieces that were peeling, sanded off. Now, this paint here is obviously thinner than, the, than over here because it doesn't have that uh, layer of clear coat on it. So I already did go ahead and burn through this paint on the edge right here because I went a little bit too hard trying to sand out a... Uh, little piece of peeling paint right there so and as you can see we've got plenty of little spots where maybe this paint was peeling or i went too hard and i basically sanded onto this edge uh which i really shouldn't have been even sanding over here i should have tried to concentrate more on this uh little line edge or whatever between the paint but anyways regardless i've got the result that i wanted uh we got all of that peeling paint off and then you can't really feel the transition anymore from this paint to that paint. And then while it was added, I'm trying to also kind of even out some of these a little bit, uh, just so you can't feel the transition as bad. Um, but my main focus is gonna be both of these sides where the uh, paint is peeling. So now that we've got that, we're gonna jump to the next step, which I believe is the 400. <clears throat> so yep, I'm gonna give it a few passes uh, over this whole thing with the 400, and then we'll go to the, I believe 1000, and we'll start wet sanding this to really leave it nice and even. Okay, so I just hit this thing with the 400 grit, and then I went to wet sanding and a 1000 grit uh, sandpaper, and it's looking pretty good. You definitely can't feel that line anymore, although it's obviously still there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do another pass with the 1000 and wet sanding because you can still see a lot of harsher scratches from the 400 and the, and the uh, 320, so. I'm going to keep going, going a little bit further out each time to really feather everything in and try and get rid of those larger scratches. Once I'm pretty happy with that, we'll go to the uh, 2000. And I think at the 2000, we'll, we'll stop and we'll start buffing the whole hood. And uh, that's another process that I have no idea how to do. So, like I said, um, learning from the guys from uh, Summit uh, Life uh, how to do this. Uh, now this... He didn't, I don't believe he did this in his video. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip doing this. Uh, and so far it's turning out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, I'm not super, super worried about how it, how it ends up because we are going to be painting over it again. Um, but like I said, I just want to get rid of this line as much as possible so it doesn't come through on the uh, new paint we're going to be putting over this. Now these things, again, uh, the ideal way to do this would be to fill it in with something and then sand it and even it out, but I really don't want to bother with that. This truck, at least, uh, in the next year is not going to be a show truck. We just want it to look a little bit better and have one solid color instead of three. So yeah, I'm going to, like I said, keep sanding with the 1000, go to the 2000. Once we're done with the 2000, I'll show you the uh, finished product and then I'll go ahead and jump to that side, but I'll do that on my own. Okay, guys, so this is what this thing is looking like after going from 320 all the way up to 3000 and doing some wet sanding so 
you definitely can't feel that edge anymore you can still see it uh, it's not as bad over here you can still see a little bit right here but i'm not gonna try and chase it anymore i think it's good enough i mean sure it's probably gonna keep peeling but that's good enough um and with the 3000 we pretty much got rid of most of the big scratches everything else we'll be able to buff it out um so yeah pretty happy with this with the way that it's turning out so i'm gonna go ahead and finish that other side like i said about myself and once we have both sides we'll go we'll move on to um uh the next steps which i guess is going to be buffing and all that stuff so yeah okay so we just got the uh, driver's side done and uh it went well but bad at the same time so uh, let me show you what i mean so as you can see, we got rid of the line actually really good, better than the uh, passenger side. And uh, yeah, like I said, it looks really, really good on top. We got rid of this line at the bottom, but, but as you can see, we burnt through the paint into the primer pretty good. Now, I'm not worried about this because like I said, we're gonna be covering this. Um, the main focus of what I'm doing was just to get rid of that hard line that we had and we accomplished that, so I'm pretty happy. And also, as you can see, we have a little bit of a uh, uh, shine back to this so pretty cool now if you look pretty carefully you can actually see that the paint here is actually getting pretty thin so maybe when we go over with the buffer it might get even thinner so i don't know i guess we'll see like i said this is all just an experiment uh for me to learn how to buff and how to do this stuff and mainly just to get the paint ready to uh to paint it now i know that for years i've been saying that i'm gonna paint this truck but i'm serious now um if you guys can see on top of that those boxes right there that's what i'm going to use to change the color on this thing so my goal and i'm really serious about this is to try and have this thing all one color by the end of the year um so i'm working really really hard it's just it's super hard keeping up with the business and doing videos and getting this thing ready for paint it's a big big uh, task but i'm really trying to promise guys but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and move forward with cleaning off the hood washing everything and getting ready to buff it out okay guys so now that we have the truck sanded down uh just like i wanted we're gonna go ahead and wash the whole front clip of the truck and just a quick wash with uh dish uh soap and that's basically because we want to get off any oils or any uh wax or anything that might still be on the paint of this thing um otherwise you really never want to wash your truck with dish soap you always want to use an actual detailing soap to clean your truck so anyways i'm gonna go ahead clean the whole front clip and uh we're we're gonna come back and show you what i'm gonna use to do the actual polishing on this thing so okay so these are the products that we're gonna use to try and polish this hood and um we have a our harbor freight bauer um polisher i don't know and then we have our pads we have a what is this a correction pad and a finishing pad that i think will fit i'll work with that and then we have our compounds i believe that's what the professionals call them <laughs> i don't know uh so we have the uh, 105 man wires professional ultra cut compound so that's the first pass we're gonna do on this thing and then to finish it off we have again the mug wires 205 ultra finishing polish uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started on this hood and see if we do if, if we can see a big difference i think what i'm gonna do like every video on youtube that does this is do this half first and then maybe do it before and after and hopefully there's a big difference so yep hey okay, guys quick update time as you can see i have pretty much this whole half done and already is a huge difference uh with the cut i guess it's, uh, the first step is done on this side uh but i just wanted to show you guys how we're doing it looks really really good other than this spot right there that was kind of hard, hard to reach i'm gonna have to do that whole rib again and then this right here but i'm pretty happy with it i'm gonna keep going and uh see how it goes but like look how you can actually see a reflection now that's a huge improvement over that so yeah i just wanted to show you guys how it's going i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm probably gonna go over those areas that i showed you again and then go ahead and finish with the what's it called polish anyways yeah Okay, so I just did the uh, final pass on this side and uh, it's definitely looking better. We were able to get some of that extra haziness that we had right here. And then we still have quite a bit right there, but honestly, <laughs> I already spent more time on this than I was planning to. So I'm gonna just leave that as is, just like I said. This is more or less just a learning experience for me. And uh, 
I have I had a little bit of time uh, yesterday and today because I'm waiting on a shipment of steel so I figured I would finish this video and do this but the steel should get here anytime now and I have to go pick it up so I'm gonna go ahead finish this side and uh, we'll call it a day would you look at that guys check this out it actually has a really nice shine I can't believe how well it ended up turning out and to be honest I, I gave up on this thing I could have kept going like you can maybe see that it still has some haze right there but this is more than good enough for me. I am happy with it, but uh, we're not done. We're gonna ceramic coat this thing to freaking seal it and protect it. And we got this from the guys over at Armor Shield, actually Avalon King. This is their Armor Shield L LX uh, Nano Ceramic Coating. I'm super, super excited to try this out. We've had this sitting in the garage now for a little while, so we're gonna test it on this hood, see how big of a difference it does, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Okay guys, so let me show you real quick what comes in this packet. I already opened it. It comes really, really well packaged. Uh, but you have your actual ceramic coating, a microfiber towel, some gloves, the applicator, wait, some gloves, and a, uh, what the heck is this called? Another little towel. <laughs> And some instructions. So I think that's everything that's in there. We got a sticker too. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's I think that's all that's in the packet. So this is the actual um This is the actual main thing, like I said, and it should be pretty easy to apply. Um you basically want to prep your truck to about this level. Uh, before you apply something like that to be honest with you guys i don't ever want to do that again <laughs> that was a pain in the butt uh and it was mostly just because you saw how faded this was so it took me almost all day to get it done and um if i would have known it's going to take, take me this long i wouldn't have done this because i could have done much better things with my time but it's now done and i don't regret it i mean it's it's beautiful and like i said we're gonna seal it just to make sure that we protect it even though it's going to get covered pretty soon. But these guys sent it out. And like I said, I want to learn how to do all this because I'm going to do most of that on that truck because um, I actually like the paint in that thing. It just needs some TLC. So we're going to learn on this thing how to apply all of this stuff, how to correct and buff and whatnot. And hopefully we can make that truck look really, really nice. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do some sections on this thing so I can learn and then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so a quick update. Um, I was actually doing some research over the coating that I wanna use for the truck and then I won't recommend you having any ceramic coating on the paint before you apply the coating. Uh, but I still really wanna test that product. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just apply it on this section of the truck and see how big of a difference it makes. Um, kinda sucks, I really wanted to try it on the whole hood, hood but uh, once I do what I want to do, I'm going to have to remove it all by sanding it again. So we're just going to go ahead and test like a little section of it and see what it looks like. Kind of a bummer, like I said, but it's all right. Okay, so we finished our first couple steps, which were the first one was to wipe down the area they want to apply the coating to with uh, isopropyl alcohol and then to prep your little applicator pad. And all you do is take one of the small, uh, man, I can't think what this is called, uh, pad and take the little card and stick it in the sponge like that so now we're going to go ahead and take our actual coating give it a good shake and apply a good amount to the little sponge that should be pretty good because we're only doing this little spot and then we're going to go ahead and cover this back up and i believe we're ready to apply it so uh, i believe you're supposed to just go up and down like this And then crisscross. There we go. And then you let it flash. So it's supposed to look oily like that. So I, I think it's ready, I guess. Okay. I hope that was ready. Okay, so I just read the instructions and I don't think we let this let it sit there nearly long enough. It should be on there for like four or five minutes. So I'm gonna reapply it, let it sit for about four or five, four or five minutes, and then I'll wipe it off and 
hopefully that works. I don't know. I mean, it looks and feels really good, but it doesn't look any better than that. So, yeah. Okay, so it's been the recommended four or five minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. Um, okay, real quick. So, final thoughts on this is that it definitely looks better and... Like a better shine is just going to be really hard to show you guys. But I guess it looks deeper. Just the fact that we have that shine now compared to how it was before is pretty crazy to me. Pretty pumped. Really wish I could have applied this thing to the whole truck actually. But they sent us enough to be able to do this truck. So like I said, um, this truck's going to be next. Um, but yeah. Pretty happy with the uh, results. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, again, I'm super happy with the results of both products that we did. The HUD looks amazing. Like I wish that the whole truck was this red or that color so I could have done it to the whole truck. Um, that would have been pretty freaking cool. Like it looks, I, I don't know. I never thought that my truck, especially the HUD, could look like that. Um, Super, super impressed, to be honest with you guys. Um, and like I said, I've been running that steering stabilizer now for a little bit over a week since I installed it. And I'm really happy with it. Like I said, the steering feel has definitely improved to a much more solid feeling uh, truck steering wheel. So super happy with that. And again, like I said, if you guys like the idea of that steering stabilizer, leave it down in the comments below and I'll make sure to make it for you guys. But anyways, yeah, leave a like, leave any comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to shop at blowingdiesel.com and uh, we'll see you for the next one.